Hey guys, if you don't know how to use them, this video will help you. So, let's start. Turn a little higher than one. Today's topic is articles. Uh, the definite and the indefinite article. And uh, in this lesson, I talk about the indefinite article. So, let's get started. So, indefinite, the indefinite article is used uh, before the noun that is general and uh, its identity is not known. So let's talk about usage of an indefinite article. We use an indefinite article, N and N, to indicate any non-specified member of the group and the category. For example, we are looking for an apartment. Here we see that N apartment. And then the second case is to indicate one in number. For example, I have a cat and then two dogs. Here we see that I have a cat. This means that I have only one cat. And uh, so let's talk about third case. Third case, we use a before a constant sound and an a before a vowel sound. The choice of a and the m depends on sound, not spelling. For example, an hour and the a university. As you can see here, you, but we say you, yes? So, let's uh, continue. The plural form of a and the n is some. For example, some pens, some apples, yes? And uh, sometimes an adjective comes between the article and the noun. For example, a beautiful girl, an unhappy boy, a red apple, yes? And then don't use a definite article with plural and uncountable nouns. Here you, see, you can see examples. She was wearing blue shoes. We cannot say she was wearing a blue shoes because shoes is here plural. And the second one, she has short blonde hair. And the hair is not countable. So we cannot say she has a short blonde hair. It is not correct. The word se is one of the most common words in English and it's our only definite article. The nouns in English, uh, in English are preceded by definite article uh, when the speaker knows that the listener already knows what he is referring to. So uh, the, the definite article is used before plural and singular nouns uh, when the noun is specific or particular. Uh, in definite article we have some general rules when to use the so, uh, we use an article to refer to a particular member of the group or to refer something that already has mentioned. For example, uh, the book you want is out of print. Which book? Uh, the book you want. Uh, so, uh, the next one, uh, we use an article before supervised adjectives or uh, and for some numbers. For example, uh, the highest building in New York or the third time I've been there. Uh, we use that article with proper nouns and uh, we use uh, the with the names of geographical areas, rivers, mountains, or with the islands, and etc. For example, we are traveling in the Arctic or I will go in the cruise down the Nile. Uh, the next one, we use that article with the names of hotels or restaurants, unless they are named after the person. Uh, for example, we are staying stay at the Hilton tonight or we are eating at the Golden Lion. Uh, we use the article with the names of famous buildings, works of art, uh, museums, or monuments. For example, we went to the river to see the Mona Lisa. So, uh, the next one, uh, we use uh, the with countries with plural nouns. For example, have you been in the Philippines? Or we can also use the Netherlands. So, uh, the last one, uh, we use that in article with clauses introduced by only. For example, the only tea I like is a black tea. Look, there is the bird flying in the sky. They is used before a thing that is unique.
we had stayed in the National Hotels for tonight. There is used before names of most hotels. My father reads the daily every day. There is used before names of newspapers. We need an ID to enter the building. ID is pronounced I T. The first sound is a vowel sound. We got two beds, a home store, and the, an ugly but friendly office. U is a vowel sound, H is consonant sound. D is used before hamster, which is mentioned for a second time. Oh, look, Mirai, would you like some orange juice? Yes, sure. Oh, let's go to the shop. This sentence is plural, so we use some.